couple questions there. But I'm really surprised that it is the Husker. No, you can put Jug mid. I, I, that's what I was thinking along the lines. Because both teams have the potential to run Huskar, and I and I do think this is one of the games where you can get away with running it, because there's. And last but not least, oh, we uh, actually yeah. have an engagement. The roll going to go wide. That that trying to get in range of sticky napalm, but not looking like too much is happening there. Okay, has already thrown out the thunder strike, and Loda getting some damage out. He's going to have pounce for another 15 seconds. Can they slow down Solo enough? He comes the spin on to Loda the roll, and as well one more hit. He'll get the first one. Loda may go down here too, but he did get the first kill. And look at it, we've got 5v5 in mid. How does that make you feel? I think you can't for for this lane. I think Juggernaut's still gonna come out ahead. Actually, but we've got a little bit of action at bottom. It looks like Loda will get a kill, but he's already lost one for this. And now Loda falling back. Can he get the triple? Pretty much. We'll see. RK has four stacks of sticky napalm, and Mag will decide to back on out. Wait, it's gonna be all four smoked up heroes. Will we get to see the first split of the game? Oh yeah, here we go. There is the primal split. They are going to primal roar now onto Husa. He seems to run quickly. Oracle thrown up in the air so that there'll be no false promise. And Mag, they managed to bring him down. Juggernaut, he doesn't have mana for that ultimate. Did he already use it? And Aki will be saved by the shallow grave. FN not quite able to bring him down. And a beautiful rock kick on through by Solo. Manages to get a kill before he explodes in that false promise. FN still trying to run away. Face boots up in two. Can Bulldog catch up? He has no point in those axes, of course, because he was jungling. Now FN, oh, he drops the healing ward. Bulldog, drop a board, try to get the slow going, but there's the spin, and uh, should be the end of that chase. Korea is terribly distracting. FN just spinning on the tower to get a little bit of extra damage. And Look it over, looks Bulldog's like... about to get a tower, though. Oh, was he? Oh, there's a glimpse backwards into the static storm. FN in a lot of trouble. Perfectly placed here. A boulder kick on through, trying to save his life, but that false promise coming out just at the right time. Dioma, Loda wanting to punish him for that business, so he will go down, but FN healed all the way back up, but no one caught in the fray. This Huskar without an Aegis, he is going to go down. They throw up Solo, get in front of him, so he will be unable to roll away. He throws out the mag, but it is not enough. Force. Both teams really on top of knowing that Roshan is up. Here come Alliance. I mean, they can take this fight. There's a DD on Loda as well. Oh gosh, he wants to find that Silver Edge target. Will they be too late? No, the Primal Strike comes on out and they can't beat the stun. But Admiral Bulldog will be gripped. Brought over to the sidelines. Will he get out his creeps? He is stuck up there. It doesn't matter that they've killed off the Earth. Spirit Burst goes down. It's snatched by Huskar. Radiant kill it. Huskar gets it. EGM trying to run away from FN's illusions. But look at Loda go. He three shots with the DD on to FN. And now Sioma has to use the false promise on himself. Just buying some time. Well, the Huskar, he does have the Aegis, but he's going to be going down twice here. Isolated, the only one left around other than Earth Spirit, who's just trying to escape. So no one. He'll go for the life break onto Aki, but there it is. Shallow Grave, TP, both of them come through, so at least they'll get the Aki nice kill. Four. And uh, no one still hasn't gone down yet. The four TPing away, he's on fire, he'll go down. But it looks like Solo being chased. Maggie is back here. Loda has no silver edge for 13 seconds, so it's the end of things. Things like Magnetize you could drop, but Static Storm, Beast Monsters, Primal. Oh, okay, here we go. BKB already showing off from S4. No one is trying to do something. He's going to be say, getting less uh, deafness because of that Pulse Promise, but Primal Roar out onto him. Arge the one taking that lasso back and now Omni Slash flying around where will FN land and will he be in a world of trouble when he gets on down Mag on the other side of this team fight still trying to poke around on all of those units it's actually no one dead yet on Vega reasoning they they can't handle the supers they have to make something happen and they yes, don't yeah this will be very key but they just got weaved all of them 
It, well, they did all get weaved, but we gotta wait for Alliance to actually say that they wanna go and take the fight. As you mentioned, no one. Okay, there's gonna not be the split yet. Finally coming out there from S4. Who is he gonna toss on up? They've already killed off the Earth and the Ars will get blown up. Mag dot in there, and he just gets critted down. This is not looking good. No one gonna go down once. Gonna go down twice. He doesn't have the BKB. The GGs are called, but as you said, the all in push doesn't work. Yeah, it was a really bad play actually from no or from Vega at the end. Like they had waited ten seconds. Well actually that's really good play coming from Alliance, but really, really bad play coming in from Vega there at the end. You can't wait ten seconds or week weave to stack up like that and not back out. You just back out for that duration and